Hi there everybody, um, George here, EI7 Kilo Oscar. A uh, quick little video here. We had uh, an email, had an email from Ken, uh, G0 Echo Kilo Hotel over there in the UK. And uh, he wanted to know about um, uh, CW type. And uh, I'm just looking at the email now. Uh, Ken says, um, Thanks for publishing the video on CW type. He found it extremely interesting having just got back into CW after many years away from it. And uh, he wants to ask how I managed to enlarge the function key boxes to display the text in addition to the F key number. Okay, so um, here's how you do it, Ken. We go to um, edit macros. Or sorry, we don't go to edit macros. If you just put the mouse in whichever button you want to do uh, and we right click on it and if we click in this window here um, now the, the window doesn't change but you can scroll over and back and you can type in whatever you want that uh, F uh, function key button to say and then we click save okay so uh, in regards to the size of the um, the macros we go to file setup we go to view and then on this window here and um, this will um, this will let us this will let us uh, determine how many rows we have uh, how many per column and then this will uh, change the height so what I'll do is uh, I'll have this uh, at 30 so and we'll click apply uh, and you can see that that changes the size uh, I can make this all the way up to 10 apply then there's 10 rows uh, do, 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 4 put that back the way it was uh, macro rows uh, we can go to 10 apply so you can see of all the other ones there as well so uh, we'll put that back to 3 the way I had that and apply so uh, that's how you do it Ken and uh, once you've everything done then you can just uh, you can just hit save or apply and save you have to hit save actually because if you just apply it um, when you close the program and you open it again uh, the next time you come back it'll be as it was so you have to hit save and once you hit save it'll stay that way whatever way you've got it set up so uh, the idea of that is say you want to change a couple of the function keys to uh, something else for you know contest or, or whatever you can just uh, go into edit macros and change them and um, just once you hit apply they'll stay like that once the program's open and once you close it and the next time you come back they will be as they were before you edited them so once you hit apply, um, they'll only stay like that for the duration of time you have the, the program open and when you come back they'll be as they were. But if you want to permanently save them, uh, you have to hit save. So I hope that's of help to you Ken and uh, if you have any more questions, uh, give me a shout and I'd be glad to uh, to help you out. So uh, 73 everybody, this is George, GI7 Kilo Oscar, bye bye.